Okay guys, what I'm going to show you today is um, how to draw a flame similar looking to this one right here. What's going on with my screen? Okay, it's really easy. It only takes around 5 to 10 minutes depending on how well you want to make it look. So first of all we start off by just grabbing a new layer and just at the moment we're on the brush tool. It doesn't matter exactly what color you have because we're going to add a gradient overlay to, to it. Right now we're just going to create a basic shape of a flame. Just really rough, doesn't matter at all if it's crap or just, just a general flame, I don't know. Just like a, we'll go like that. So we sort of want it to look similar, end up a shape like that. Doesn't matter how bad it is at the beginning because we end up reshaping it throughout the process. So now we want to go to little FX button down here and go up to gradient overlay and the color that choose I choose is this one right here this orangey and yellow. I like to set the um, angle to around whoa, zero or whatever, whatever side you use, choose to use, 180 or 0, it's all the same. Um, let's sort of give it like a effect there, so it's like straight up and down. Um, there's not enough yellow, I mean orange in there, so we need a bit more orange to help us blend in the next process. So do that by just dragging these in a bit, and you can see now we have a bit of orange and yellow. Orange is the more, I'd say, dominant colour in this, so we want more orange overall. So once we have that looking like this, we can just press OK and come back to our main screen here. Now you need your smudging socks on to kind of help you out with this next process. We're going to click on the smudge tool, which is this one here, smudge and just zooming in sort of helps here we're just gonna right click on our layer go smart object and convert it and then rasterize the layer so now we can blend the yellow around and the orange this is where our flame begins to take shape so it looks pretty average right now, but it will end up looking like this one right here. So what you do, this takes a little bit, we just want to get more orange orange towards the top, the light bright colours near the bottom of the flame. So we get rid of like the yellow up here or smudge over some darker solid colours over the top of the yellow. And it really doesn't matter what background colour you have because you can take this flame out and then just put it on anything anything you want basically later on. Show. So this is the process we use now. Just continue doing this until you basically have the, the flame you want. It's good to mix the colours up really well. Also, drag like the get rid of the background just now. Make it more opaque towards the middle. Do like a nice line in there every now and then, and then just over, kind of like fill it up, and then it'll leave a sort of opaque little see-through spot in the flame where our background shows through, and it gives it a nice little effect there. I like to do this just every now and then on the flame. Um, so I'm just going to rush this really quickly, I'm not going to do it too well, I'm just going to give you guys a general uh, idea on how to do this.
Um, uh, too much yellow here. I'm just still doing this really basic. My other flame earlier is going to be a lot better than this because this is just a rush. So I'm just going to basically stop here. I'm reasonably satisfied with the shape and how it, the flame is becoming right now. Now we're just going to go back to the brush tool by pushing B. Now we don't have the. We don't want black and white here and white to be our foreground colour. And I'm just going to scribble a bit of white up the middle here, just at the bottom. This will get a little nice little glow at the centre of our flame down here. Go back to our smudge tool and just blend that in a little bit. Just so it's really just giving that light to the middle of our flame here so now we've got a real basic looking flame if we zoom out you can see the detail of it, it looks pretty good you can add it to the mouth of a dragon burning car crash, I don't know, anything you like top of a candle, anything so now we've got that flame along with my other one earlier was that actually both look they both look quite good actually quite happy with that and that's just a basic tutorial on how to do a quick drawing of a flame hope you guys enjoyed it